Hello students, so let's continue our discussion of um, strategic cost management of which we would be um, applying the system concept. Huh? What have we this uh, introduced already? The first one objective okay and so uh, after objective it would be the tools input process output now before I uh, continue with the other aspect of the system concept so let's go to the objective the objective will be one costing of product and your product may either be goods or services so we will uh, talk about again the costing of product which will be discussed in term two and then we have planning uh, control and decision making which will be discussed in term two and term three okay now if these are the objective of the cost management system uh, then we need to look into the tools the input the process and the output but we have to ask ourselves first, who is it for? Your cost management system, at the, at, 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 of which later we'll be focusing on the strategic level. Although at this point in time, you are looking at the three levels of management. Diba? Sino sino yung three levels of management? Operational, tactical, and strategic. All of whom are... So, the, the cost management system, the output will be for first internal users. Why? Because uh, the inputs and processes that you need has to satisfy the objective. Oh, diniscasa natin yung objective, di ba? Ito yung objective. Okay. Now, if that is so, then what is uh, your your next concern first you have to know okay your characteristics because if you're going to have a partner diba make a relation ka uh, kailangan alam mo kung ano yung gusto mong karelasyon. Dahil pinag-usapan na natin yung output eh. Eh, ano ba yun? Eh, ito tatandaan nyo. Pat. Ma'am, ano? Ano pangalan ng karelasyon ko? Pat. Okay. O, ano yung P natin? P is for philosophy. A is for attitude. And, okay, T is for techniques. Okay? And when you talk about philosophy, this would be um, looking at cost management as a philosophy of improvement. So, ang, ang focus mo, philosophy of improvement. Kasi, kasi kailangan mong ipromote yung idea na ang, is, ang organisasyon ay naghahanap ng mga paraan para matulungan ang bawat isa within the firm no uh, in making the right decisions of which this right decisions okay ay makakapag create ng ano customer value. Okay? 
So ulitin natin, ano ang philosophy class? Sige nga, isipin nyo. Oh, isipin nyo na kung ano yung sinabi natin kanina. It is all about mapabuti mo ang iyong sarili bisa, bilang isang organisasyon. No? Para nang sa ganon, makagawa ka ng tamang desisyon. Eh, ba't ba nabubuhay ang isang organisasyon? Aba, eh, para sa customer. So, yun yung pag-aaralan natin dito. Okay? So, it's about creating value. It's, 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 it's about value creation. No? So, value creation for your client. O, no, yun yung sa philosophy. O, di, punta tayo sa attitude. Okay? Paano yung, paano yung sa attitude? Pag sa attitude, eh, this would talk about making decisions. Ha? Ba, paano naging yung attitude ay uh, making decision? Kasi di ba sabi natin, pwede kang maging risk taker, pwede kang risk averse. Ah, ito pinakaayaw natin yung dulo. Risk indifferent. Kasi, making right decision, uh, the, itong pag-improve mo, no, ng iyong organisasyon, abay, critical yan, doon sa, klase ng ugali mo, dahil yung paggagawa mo ng, ng, ng pagpili mo, no, ano ang tama sa'yo, eh, magdidepende kung, kung, uh, ano yung attitude mo in making the decision? Eh, ano ang focus natin pag sa attitude? Aba, you have to be proactive. So, ito yung mas, mas uh, tinitingnan natin. No? Kung kailangan ko palang maging proactive na ang attitude ko, uh, then, uh, sinasabi lang nito na, Cause do not just happen. No? Uh, you as being the cost management analyst, no? being the cost management analyst, eh, kailangan you have to have, uh, be critical. When? Aba, eh, sa input mo, eh, ang ginagawa mo, yung nagre-record ka. Di ba, ito yung pinag-aralin nyo nung nakaraan. Nire-record nyo yung transaction. At kung ano man yung nire-record nyo, isinamarize nyo, at ito yung pagbabasihan natin sa paggawa ng desisyon. No? Bakit kailangan proactive? Timing is everything. No? So, kasi ang gusto nga natin, we would like to to uh, be active partners, di ba? In making decision. And, this would help in the development and improvement of your products. No? Uh, as well as efficiency of operation. O, punta na tayo sa technique. Paano ngayon dun sa technique? Pagka sa technique, mga pag-aaralan ba natin isa-isa yung technique? Oo, sa ayaw at sa gusto nyo. Ay, yung iba review lang eh. Di ba? O. Oh. Eh, dapat daw. Reliable. Bakit? Eh, sa dami ba naman na pwede mo gamitin na paraan? Di ba? Kasi, uh, the technique will... Uh, uh, assist us, no? Will support us in in uh, giving evidences, no? Which serve as the basis in uh, making uh, your decision. So, ang focus natin ay working together. Working together ni ano? ni Pat. So, discuss, i-relate natin yan from time to time. Kung si Pat pala ang pinakakarakteristik ng cost management system, o di pwede na tayo magpunta doon sa ano? Balik tayo doon sa system concept. Kasi, uh, sabi natin, this is an we start with 
the accounting information system, okay? And then, sino yung susunod? Pagkatapos ng accounting information system. O, di ba natapos nyo na yung subject na to accounting information system? Ang susunod dyan ay si cost management system. Na ito yung tinitake up nyo ngayon. Okay? Uh, merong pang system under cost management system. Ano to? It would be the cost accounting system. O, tapos na ba kayo dito? Oo. Ito yung tinake up nyo nung nakaraan. Pinaka prerequisite nyo to. ba? Diba? And the operational system. Uh, ay, may dagdag dito. Salitang control. Okay? So, ang cost management system pala ay nahahati sa dalawa. Okay? Ano uli ito? O, sige nga, isipin nyo. O, nasagot mo na. O, sige, tingnan natin kung tumama kayo. Uh, ito ay, ay, cost accounting system and operational control system. Okay? Now, ano yung minsan tawag dito? Minsan, minsan ang tawag dito ay MCS, Management Control System. Okay? Now, yung cost accounting, ano, ano ang maaapektuhan niya pagka yung output ng uh, cost accounting system? Maaapektuhan niya ang financial accounting information no? and the management accounting. Okay? So, magiging input naman siya ng financial accounting at saka ng management accounting. Paano siya, ano ang, uh, paano makakaapekto yung cost accounting? Sa income statement at saka sa balance sheet. Sa financial accounting. Why? Because this would give us information on the cost of goods sold no, and the cost of inventory. Likewise, in your financial position, in your balance sheet, this would uh, actually affect the inventory. On the other hand, if it is management accounting, this will serve as input no, uh, when you are looking at uh, estimation, no, when you, cost estimation, when you are making cost volume profit analysis, when there is a need for you to have uh, standard costing in other tools no, in management accounting. In financial accounting, if this is all about financial statement preparation, which will be either internal user and external user, management accounting is looking at performance. No? In terms of function of accounting, this would cover the first three function and this will cover the last function. No? Ano, yung, ano yung first three function that will cover that will be covered in financial accounting. Recording, classifying, summarizing. And management accounting will focus on interpreting. Okay? So, kung interpreting siya. Kaya gano'n na, it's all about performance. Okay? O, clear ba? Clear sa inyo class? So, ano yung pinag-aralan natin dito? So, this will be part one of our discussion of the cost management system. What did we discuss as a wrap-up? We discussed the characteristic, which is path. We discussed the objective, okay? And again, we have three objectives, all of which we're going to discuss in our class. O, oh, naisip nyo na yung objective? Term 2, at saka term 3 natin, i-discuss yun. No? Kasi yung foundation pa lang tayo ngayon. Hmm. Ano pa yung i-discuss natin? The relationship of the systems no? sa accounting of which we start with AIS then we relate the cost management system to financial accounting and management accounting of which we learn that the cost management system has two 
cost accounting, and operational uh, control system or management control system. Okay? And ano ang sinabi nito? Dun sa concept natin, uh, did, did we, we already, uh, wala tayong specific pang na-discuss sa tools, but uh, there are introductions such as cost estimation, cost volume profit. Input will be, nakita nyo naman, uh, depende kung ano pinag-uusapan, but uh, talagang ang cost management system, no? the, the output of the cost management system is an input, no? to financial accounting and managerial accounting of which we have to go through the different processes no and so anong sinabi sa atin interrelatedness doon sa system characteristic ay ano ayan no whether you like it or not lahat sila one way or the other ay mag-i-intersect no in terms of the the boundary, no? Uh, merong, merong uh, aspect na magkakasama sila. Interdependency would be, ano na interdependency? The uh, output of one will be the input of the other, which is shown in our discussion. And decomposition, ano ang decomposition? Makakatayo ka pa rin sa sarili mong paa. Yes, why? Take a look. Ang cost management system, may cost accounting, may management control system na pag-aaralan natin, ito tapos nyo na, ito pag-aaralan pa lang. Um, and you have, uh, tapos nyo na din yung financial accounting, di ba? And management accounting, partly, yun ang unuumpisahan nyo na. So, they can uh, separate. Kasi pag sinabi mong decomposition, they can separate. Okay? So, uh, you start with the accounting information system. Ayan. Kasi, why am I um, reiterating it? Kasi nga, we have to use the system approach. Okay? With, with uh, our focus on the uh, cost uh, management. Okay? So, uh, we'll, we'll have the uh, part two of this uh, discussion. Thank you and good day.